when you walk in the light, as he is in the light, you have fellowship one with another. But also when you walk in the light, you expose the deeds of darkness that they would reveal what sort of manner they are. And often, sometimes people like to take their flashlight and think that they're exposing deeds of darkness. The reality is, thy word is a light unto my path and a lamp unto my feet. The word of God has always been the light that we need in order to look at and examine our own hearts, as well as the hearts and minds and attitudes and actions and directions of other people. Because when anything contradicts the light, then it must be darkness. Because you see, that's what the light does. It reveals darkness. And the darkness doesn't like the light. Because if it is exposed, then it's exposed for what it is. And so anytime you find that in some way, in some manner, in some how, in some people, that they contradict the Word of God, then they are a contradiction to the light of the world that has come into the world. Because Jesus said, I am the Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the same was in the beginning with God. And without Him was not anything made that was made. And so Jesus, as the Word of God, can't be contradicted. Jesus is the Word of God. Jesus did not come to contradict God's Word, but He fulfilled the Word of God. And so all of light that comes into our life ought to be the fulfillment of the Word of God. It has to be in agreement, so to speak, or it has to come to the conclusion that the light is light, is light, is light. And dark is dark, is dark, is dark. And you don't go mixing dark with light. You get shadows. And a lot of people like to play in the shadows. They like to mix shadows. They like to get in the shadow. They like to be in the shade. But you see, when it comes to the Word of God, when you really want to be in the light, then, quite frankly, you got to get in the light. Because if you're in darkness, and all you're looking at is darkness, then how great is the darkness they're in? But the light of the Word, the Word of God as light, has come that we should know the truth and the truth should set us free and that we should see the light and that we should experience the ability to know what is right, what is wrong, what is light, and what is darkness. Sorry for some, they don't like the light of the Word. They don't like the Word of God. They like to use parts of it. They like a little bit of light. But God wants us to walk in completeness. He wants us to walk in the light. He doesn't want us to walk in the shadows or in the dark. So whenever God comes to you and he says, walk in the light, he's saying also to walk in his word, to know his word, to be full of light, because we are a city that is set on a hill, shining forth the light into the darkness of this age that we live in. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. Have faith in God. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith, and it shall come to pass. Therefore I say unto you, Whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. He that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called, accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was also able to perform. Is anything too hard for the Lord? With God all things are possible. Lord, increase our faith. In these latter days, as you see that when you share the light, when you share the word, when you share what's glowing and growing and just flowing out from you in lightness and brightness, you'll find a lot of people don't want to see the light because if the light of their understanding were opened up, they would really have to admit not only are they in darkness, but they want to stay in darkness instead of choosing to walk in the light.